new intro is done. The theme song re-recording is done. The sound design for the theme song is done. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty good. I'm just doing a test render now. Then I'm gonna put it into the actual episode. I'm gonna re-render the episode. Public release will be just in a day or two. In any case, I gotta eat. I'm starving. tired of having to eat all the time. I love eating, it's just I want to do it when I'm ready to eat, not when my stomach says it's time to eat. It's like, stomach, cooperate, man, come on. I would like to quickly interject and say that I'm just joking here, I'm not actually being serious. It's just an observation that every time I start to get to work on something, I get really hungry and I have to go eat. <laughs> Okay, so I just popped over to REI to get a bear hanging rope. A long time ago, I got this one specifically for that purpose, and it was only 20 feet, which is not nearly enough. And I never bothered to actually get a longer one, so I've just had this rope for years and have never used it. Time to get 40 feet of rope. I just tested it out. This is so nice. And we used to like try to do bear hangs with like basically fishing string, just this cheap crap you'd get like at the drugstore. It's like, no, let's spend 20 bucks and get a real rope. Come on, man. Okay, I gotta go. I don't have time to dilly-dally, so um, I'll probably see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. The biggest problem with not getting enough sleep, among many problems, is that you're just like hungry the whole day. Just like this vague underlying hunger where you're just like, mm, just feed me, Seymour, feed me. Sometimes you just go to bed a little bit too late, you get up a little bit too early, and you're just like, well, that was dumb. <laughs> but I will now feed the beast. The beast shall be fed. So this right here is a TV for my grandmother. She wanted a TV for her kitchen. Got her this cheap one. This was on sale for like 70 bucks or something. Pretty good deal. Okay, let's set it up for her and get her all set up with the Netflix and the... of all the smart TV remotes I've used, the Fire TV one is actually, I think, my favorite. The worst one ever is the Apple TV remote. How could anybody think this was a good design? This is like, maybe this was a case of like, the emperor has no clothes. I think that's the only possibility. <sighs> wow, it is quite cold today. All right, time to go play a little Minecraft with the sister, eat a little dinner, a little ice cream. Okay, 
right, time to get to work. So today on the docket, I'm preparing for an upcoming trip. We'll be doing that very soon. One thing I like to do is whenever I'm preparing a trip, I like to take stock of everything I have. And I'm like, oh, am I still using this? Do I still need this? And it's basically just like this constant editing of everything that I have. And you know, with equipment especially, you really don't know if you fully need it until you've actually used it for a bit. For example, for a while we used this wireless microphone. Whenever Andrew would do his plant sequences or whatever, we'd have him wear this. And after a while we realized, you know, this isn't really necessary. It's not worth the extra weight and then the setup to get him all set up and switching the mics in and out. So instead, we just use microphone placement. We just make sure that he's close enough to the camera. We make sure there's nothing else going on in the background, make sure the wind's not too strong. You can work around those things. And then after a while, you realize whether you actually need something or not. Another piece of equipment is this little guy. This is a mini tripod that we use to get low to the ground shots. This. I'm not entirely sure we need. We actually didn't bring it in the last trip and it didn't really matter. But I think I'm gonna bring it on this trip to see, do we actually need this? I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. It feels like a toss up sometimes. And then there's other things that you refine over time. The reason you initially did it might've been a good reason. For example, we used to have this SD card case and we'd have all these like smaller SD cards, like oh, 64 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, and we just like rotate through them. This trip, I was like, yo, 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 this has got to stop. What we need is to have two 128 gigabyte cards in each camp, which is four times 128 gigabytes, and no episode we've ever filmed has gone over that gigabyteage. Two of these cards on this camera is five hours and 14 minutes of record time. If we have five hours and 14 minutes of footage on one camera, we would never be able to finish editing. What's great about these cameras is that they have dual card slots. So we can put two SD cards in, put them in the camera. You know that the SD cards are gonna be safe because they're gonna be as safe as the cameras are. If there's anything that will be safe, it's gonna be the cameras. When I tipped that canoe, I was literally holding on to the camera for dear life the entire time. <laughs> And I feel like streamlining things, often the big hurdle is cost. And other times the streamlining is just, it's so optional. You're like, I just don't really feel like it's actually worth the need. I've been talking about this computer a lot, strangely, but this is a good example. I want to streamline the case and make it more like nice and sleek and everything. But the interior is amazing. So I don't really need to. And interestingly, this camera's kind of doing a Pac-Man where it's gone so far to the side, it's coming back out the other side. And it looks so ugly now that it's kind of looking cool again. <laughs> Anyways, it's a big process of trial and error. And you're like, oh man, I need this because it's gonna help with this. But then you're like, oh, I actually doesn't help that much. We don't need it. Even like lens selection comes into play. I used an 85 millimeter lens for one episode. I was like, this is pointless. This serves us nothing. In the end, I was like, I don't need this focal range at all. It is legitimately winter or something already. I'm just kidding, it's not winter yet, but well, it's definitely cold. You know what I associate with this type of cold fall weather? Is this type of like jazzy, video game remix music that you're listening to right now. I first started the vlog for real in October of 2015, and some of the first music that I used was music just like this, and it's very like, defines that whole period of my life, and it's like just a good feeling of like possibility, and mm, man, like let's go do it. Yeah, it's still like, still one of my favorite types of music. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Dolly Sod's public release is imminent. The next episode is going to be filmed very soon. Until then, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.